I just got back from a road trip to San Diego and my house was, we don't have like central heat or anything. We just have a, let's see, show you a pellet stove. So when we're not here, there was no heat in the house. <laughs> so some of my plants are looking a little rough and I figured I would show you guys which ones are not doing so hot and then we'll kind of keep an eye on them and see if they pull through but it's really sad so let me show you what we what we're who didn't do so hot okay first off we have mr bro marks looks like he really got oh these leaves are like paper thin and they look like they're but they're they're so loose and floppy so that's really sad i did pretty much water everybody except for a couple people right before we left so it's probably a combo of the water and the cold but yeah this is really bad Ugh, and he's like just droopy droopy and he was so big and beautiful but it's okay plants will grow back it's just really sad um let's see this guy he is putting on a new leaf but yeah we're still really floppy um once everything warms up i'm definitely going to uh water everybody again priso verde same thing really really sad this one's not too bad but like this leaf is floppy as hell um Clamani I did good. Ty Constellation did good. Let's see. Squammy's good. Gloriosum definitely needs some water. Oh, you couldn't even see. Gloriosum definitely needs some water. Uh, this guy definitely needs some water. Nangari Tense is totally fine. Um, everybody's pretty good here. Just a little bit on the skin depths. This needs some water, it looks like. Um, Peace Lily, obviously. These guys are so thirsty, so they're sad. Same with the variegated Peace Lily. Some of these guys looking are looking pretty good. I do see my Mayoi. Look at this one's by the window too. I probably should have pulled them from the window, but it looks like they froze and then Yeah, that's not good. Look at this sad leaf. Oh gosh. Um This guy's not too bad. He's definitely a little floppy. Those guys are okay. Manjula's okay. Those guys are good. So yeah, it was kind of mostly, let's see. Over here didn't do so bad. The this guy was this leaf was already dying before I left. But um everybody else did okay over here. Um, let me see. This guy definitely took a hit. And the other thing was these guys over here, I didn't leave these lights on, so they were like in the dark, in the cold. No, five days without water so squammy did all right though uh, it looks like it's there's a little bit of cold damage for sure but overall not too bad um over here we have ow, ow, i just stepped on a dog bone my new domesticum looks great so that's good i was definitely worried about this guy this one's all right not bad by penifolium um, this one was already doing really terrible when we left, so I'm probably just going to chop it all back and start over. And then over here, I think we're doing pretty good with, let's see, my Norfolk Island Pine. Looks good. Probably just could use some water. Brazil's doing good over here. This uh, Golden Pothos is good. And then in this room, my pubic calyx splash is actually doing pretty good. This guy, he was starting to lose some leaves before. So I think just the cold really compounded it. And then I moved my giant bird of paradise in here so that it, I could leave this window open so it would actually get light because I left my window closed. It looks like he did pretty good in here. It, this room is freezing. We have my <laughs> dark lowered, which wasn't doing so hot to begin with, but it probably could use some water. And then a string of hearts. But yeah, I think that was that was the the main ones. Everybody in the plant room, it seems like, did okay, and then that's where the most damage was, because yeah, there was there's skylights in there, so there was still some light, but I closed all my blinds. Um, but the cold, it was probably really cold in there rather than like in here. It kind of kept a little bit more of the heat. It was really really freezing. Like I could I could see my breath when I walked in. So um, I'll definitely keep you guys updated. <laughs> and let you know how everybody does um over the next couple days and hopefully we don't lose anyone too bad but i think for the most part i'll just have to chop back in spring and they'll just do their thing later on so let's see 
it has been it's friday no thursday today so it's been two days since i filmed these plants last and this guy perked up a whole bunch we still have like some of these leaves that got cold damage are clearly like very sad so i don't know if they're gonna die or if they're just gonna come back i'm not sure but they're at least like still alive and some parts seem to be doing better so might just need another round of watering <clears throat> Over here, these Paraiso Verde leaves don't look like they're gonna make it. <laughs> they're pretty pathetic. Um, let's see, it popped out a new leaf. It's a small guy, but not too bad. Gloriosum, let's see, this looks like definitely some cold damage, but the leaves feel a whole lot better. These guys were fine there. Um, same thing with Silver Sword, just kind of the floppy leaves. Um, this guy's looking like he needs a little bit more water too. This guy perked way back up. He was like, ee, flopped. Now he's like, ee. so that's doing good. Everybody pretty much here was good. This guy is coming back. Still a little bit like curled leaf. So we'll work on that. Probably just needs a little bit more time and warmth. Um, this piece of lily is still pretty floppy, but like a lot of, oh gosh, it's so dusty. A lot, of, a lot of the leaves perked up. Ew, do you see that? Ew, I need to dust you. Nasty. But, um, yeah, we definitely have a little ways to go. So it's probably just drinking up some water and getting rehydrated. This guy looks so much better. A lot more perky, but same thing. Probably just needs some time. Oh, let's see. Looks like we did get some damaged leaves. So those guys are not doing as hot. But overall, not bad. Um, oh, the mayoi. There's my doggie. <laughs> Hello. These guys did not suffer cold damage. They're doing very well. Come on. This leaf perked up a whole bunch. You can kind of see the cold damage on it a little bit. So that's a little sad. This was the newest leaf. It looks better than this one. But um, yeah, these leaves definitely have the cold damage right there on them. So the, this guy looks like he's on his way out. This one's okay. Um, but yeah, doing pretty good there. Oh, I definitely need to water my Brazil. It's looking, yeah, can I help you? <laughs> can I help you? She's like, you're disturbing my nap. Disturbing my nap. Their little cheeks puffing out. Oh. She's like, no photo. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, definitely need to water Brazil. Uh, Christmas cactus perked back up, so we're doing good there. This guy never had any issues. I'm trying to think. Um, this guy was a little bit, oh, I can see who one that's not doing so hot too. I don't think I showed you the other day. This one was like droopy. He got some water and he's doing good, but let me show you. Um... <clears throat> El Chaco Red, <laughs> uh, he's even looking worse than he did yesterday. Yesterday he had like all of this cold damage on him, but now he's like shriveling up. See, the leaves are getting shrivelly, so that's sad, but I know this guy's kind of sensitive, so understandable. Um, this guy, I feel like wasn't doing so hot before I left anyways. He's kind of just been barely hanging in there so probably the cold didn't help at all um and i think i my gloriosum is i noticed yesterday too he got he probably got a little too cold so he's not the prettiest right now you can kind of see with the light behind it the little like cold damage spots so probably gonna lose some leaves there monstera did totally fine no issues there i think those are probably the hardiest guys and then this Gimdapsis, I think it was mostly the water that was not making it so hot, but it's doing a lot better now. Perked back up. And let's see. This guy, oof, he is on his way out. I think probably he got root rot or something. So yeah, he probably is not going to make it. But we'll see. <laughs> we'll see what happens. And then I think the last two were just this guy looking great. And this guy, same thing, just needed to perk back up from the water. And then 
we're gonna lose some of these yellow leaves but not bad definitely perked back up after i gave him a drink okay so it is currently sunday and a bunch of leaves have fallen off there's obviously a bunch more like this one literally pink falling off so not so hot on this guy it seems like we're gonna i'm gonna have to do some trimming <clears throat> but overall like it just put out this new leaf and we're doing good so i think it'll bounce back pretty good um oh i noticed too nang is really struggling now so i'm probably gonna lose all these leaves as well here's paraiso verde still hanging on not great i think i need to water everybody again here's gloriosum these leaves are definitely sad so probably gonna lose those i just noticed squammy started showing some signs of yeah like that leaf just fell off so it's probably just taking time for everybody to um you know kind of drop everything but there's name um who else let's see i feel like everyone else is doing about the same um oh you know what you know who's not oh i'm just noticing too a little bit on Worshkawishkii. <laughs> not too bad but probably gonna drop some leaves soon here's how everybody else is doing Oh yeah, see, these leaves that had the dark on it, they were shriveling up, so probably gonna lose those guys soon. Oh, but I got, look, there's like an all white leaf that came out. So, <clears throat> but I think everybody else is doing pretty good over here. Oh, this ring of fire leaf looks like it's gonna go soon. And then the other thing I really needed to show you was this dirt, Ugh. El Chaco. <laughs> Oh, so sad. All three leaves. Just sad. But look, we got a new leaf coming out. So we'll see how that one goes. But overall, yeah, I think everybody else is doing okay. I need to do another round of watering. Toward them. Um, seems like we're losing some leaves. Glorious. And this leaf finally opened up, but it's looking sad because let's see, this leaf is still hanging on, but it's about to go too. Burl marks, same as usual. Let's see. I moved Mayoi in here and gave him a light. But yeah, these leaves are probably like this one's gonna drop soon. Um I think those were oh Squammy over here is not doing the best. But I think that was also it was like I just dropped that leaf, but yeah, I think also I just need to kind of chop him back and restart just because or put him in a different location. But yeah, he, he looks like he's not doing the best because this leaf went through the light and it, yeah, it died. <laughs> sad, sad. But I think overall we're doing okay. This guy is like fully dying. Like he's put out some little growth here, but... I'm gonna have to chop him all back. I don't even know. He might, he might not even make it at all. There's some leaves that are okay, but overall, really, really sad. Let's see. Bird of Paradise, I think, has been going strong. I haven't even moved her back into my room, but yeah, I think it just needs to be dusted. That's pretty much it. Doing good there. These two, these two in here are still living their best lives. Just a couple more you know, leaves that are going. I just, I really need to take the time to clean everybody up, but this week has been insane at work. And so I've really just been a vegetable this whole weekend and I'm finally starting to clean things up and put away my Christmas stuff. So probably plants are gonna have to wait till next weekend, but, cause I got a long week ahead of me and I doubt I'm gonna have any time, but we'll see. Okay, we have a sad, addition to cold drama two leaves just fell off of my tortum the newest leaf and the second newest leaf we have two left <sighs> but they're definitely not doing so hot they literally just like snapped right can you see like right here they just dunk, snapped off 
I didn't touch them, nothing. I just looked over and saw that this one, this one had fallen. And then this one, I went to like check it and boop, just fell right off. Ugh. It's literally so cold. Um, it's like, I think it was 11 degrees an hour ago when I checked. I mean, my house is obviously not that cold, but it is really, really cold out. So that's sad. Poor little doorknob. Uh, El Chaco, the leaves have not fallen off yet, but they're still uh, still nasty. This is uh, Wednesday, the what day are we? 17th. So, yeah, sadness. Uh, Mayoy leaves are still hanging on, but yeah, they're not, not the prettiest leaves ever. That's for sure. Um, who's Ningara tents? They're definitely getting worse and worse. So they'll probably drop soon. Paraiso? These leaves are weirdly like still hanging on and it looks like the middle part of the leaf is like fine. It's the ends that are really nasty. Um, we finally started to see a little bit of damage on this Plowmanii, just on the edges though. So we might lose that leaf. Let's see, Squammy, baby Squammy is still not looking great. Gloriosum, leaves are still on, but not pretty. This uh, Bipenifidum, narrow, Philodendron narrow. You can definitely see, oh, it's pretty dusty too. Um, you can see the damage on the leaves now. Let's see, this one, pretty nasty. It looks like bugs, but I promise it's just dust. <laughs> Um, same thing with burl marks, just slowly losing the leaves that got really damaged, but new leaf came out, it's looking pretty. So yeah, same old, same old. Uh, I moved this guy over here yesterday because I just wanted to see if I liked it over here. Um, Peace Lily. Same thing, leaves are, like the leaves that were already damaged are not coming back obviously, but not doing bad. Oh, the ring of fire, one leaf is dying. That one actually doesn't really look like it's cold damage. It just looks like it probably gave up. Um, but yeah, I think everybody else is doing pretty good. Let's see, oh, here we go. There's some cold damage on this guy. Florida did really well. Golden Pothos, strong. This guy got a little bit right here. Not too bad. And then I think everybody over here is pretty much doing the same, minus the two that I gave you updates on. I just cut back all the dead on my upright lemon lime philodendron. So we still have like new growth that's doing all right. I just cut off all the dead stuff so it could work on rebuilding. Okay, we have to update because we are getting some serious, serious progression of all the cold damage. Uh, Bromarx is still losing leaves. As you can see, they just keep, you know, slowly dying, which is understandable. <laughs> And it has gotten warmer. It We're sitting around the 40s right now, rather than 12 degrees, three degrees. So yeah, this is just, it just keeps progressing, which is, you know, I expected, but it's kind of crazy to see how much it has progressed. And it's also hit a couple plants like late in the game. So I'll show you guys that. Look at my poor Nang. Oh. Every single leaf is fucked. They're still hanging on, but yeah, this is bad. Bad, bad, bad. Um, Price of Verde. These guys have progressed a lot more. This one just is starting to, it has like spots, but then the rest of the leaves are like this, you know. This guy, this leaf seems to, for the most part, minus like here, been okay and this is the new leaf it put out 
It's doing all right. It's still going strong. Billy did fine. Here's the damage to the narrow. Just little spots. This leaf, I think, is the worst. Ugh, we have sad little Gloriosum. Just really fucked. But, you know, we knew this was going to happen. Mr. Thai Constellation has done great. No issues there. Squammy, baby Squammy. It's got a, a dead leaf right there. The other ones are doing okay and it put out a new leaf. So, you know, we're doing all right. Doing okay, not too bad. Um, this is the progression on Plowmanii, not too terrible, just kind of like the edges. Not bad. Um, let's see, we moved these guys over. Everyone over here is doing pretty good. I don't think these guys were in that corner, so I don't think they got as bad. Um, my man Jula is really, really turning <laughs> sad. Yeah, like I'm losing so many leaves. I just moved him back over here just because I was like, ugh. But yeah, we've got a lot of cold damage on those leaves. See, this one like was not showing any signs when I first got back. And now it's starting to go downhill. So that's one of those. And it's so sad because look at, ugh, this leaf is stunning. Stunning. Um, Ring of Fire, just this one leaf. Everyone else is doing pretty good. Like there's a little bit of damage. But not like losing a whole bunch of leaves. So we're good there. Oh, I just noticed um, skin dapsis today showing some cold, but this one was just kind of like a cutting. Gosh, look at my Florida ghost. Doing great. Look at that pretty, pretty leaf. So we have to have some positive in all this negative. And then Florida bronze, I think it did get damaged a little bit. Just just a little bit but still still working on the new leaf so that's that's progress that's good um the matophyllum doing okay Mont peru did fine here is worshka worshkii still same not really like progress so that's good standaliana didn't really have any issues peace lily just baby baby leaf issues nothing too crazy let me show you my tortum all of the leaves are dying so it's going to be a stump in no time these are the last two leaves so that's really sad gloriosum this leaf we knew it was going but it's not there yet these two newer leaves are doing fine fine not great but fine so there's that um, oh, <gasps> or El Chaco, so sad, but look at the new leaf, it's coming out. These, these old leaves are just terrible, so terrible. Um, I think everyone else though, I did notice, I did notice that we have a leaf, dead leaf on my macrophylla, but other than that, put out a new leaf right there. Doing okay, definitely a little dusty, but doing good. And another one to add to the collection of sad ones is my uh, Squammy Ferrum. Oh, that leaf just died. This was another one that started going downhill. I think it was also a combo of root rot too, honestly. But yeah, it started to go downhill real fast after. So it looked fine. And then every all the leaves are dying. So that's really sad. I've been really busy at work. So I haven't had a chance to really do anything about this. But I will. It's on my list. Oh, look. Pink. Yeah. Sad. Sad, sad leaves. And then Mayoi kind of doing the same leaves are slowly dying the ones that got the cold I mean they're still kind of hanging on but they're definitely not doing so hot but these these leaves bounce back pretty good 
nothing too bad there so we're doing okay but these lower two are definitely not doing the best okay so today is february 3rd um i was just gonna do a check-in on my plants because um a leaf just fell off the nang and then i was pulling some of the other really sad guys off and then I started doing it on my bro marks. And I was like, oh shoot, I need to show what everybody's looking like. So let me throw this away and then I'll show you how the damage has been going. Okay, so bro marks. Clearly we have some really, really sad leaves still. We have a lot of leaves that are like about to fall off. See, that literally just came off. Like, So I'm probably going to go through... And, oh, another one just fell. And, like, take off all the stems and leaves that are dying just so that, like, we can start fresh. <laughs> but it's probably going to look so naked after. I'll show you guys what it looks like afterwards. But I just wanted to show you the before. You saw the nang. We're down to two leaves on the nang. And these two are probably not going to last that much longer. Um, yeah, that's kind of sad. The narrow, it's not, I don't think these leaves are going to fall off. I think we're doing okay enough to where these leaves are going to stay and be fine. Um, Paraiso Verde, these have officially died. Let's see. Will it, I don't know if it's ready to come off yet, but I'll probably chop. Yeah, like the leaf part will fall off. But the um, stem... I'll probably have to chop off or wait a little bit longer till it comes off. Oh, here, look at Gloriosum, the leaves died. This one that was coming out, it's got some damage on it, but it's like not dead. So that's good. And then it's already working on pushing out another leaf. So positive. Um, Squammy is doing pretty good. I think I only lost like two leaves on this one, so we're not doing too bad. It put out a new leaf. It's small, but you know, it's winter, so understandable. Um, who else is really, was really having a hard time? Uh, this peace lily, it seems like it is kind of struggling a bit, some of the leaves. But overall, it's doing all right. Not the best. I think it really is not liking the cold at all. Um, let's see. Yeah, I have Tortum, which is losing these two leaves too. So it will sh soon be a leafless nub. But they're still like not ready to come off yet. Gloriosum, this leaf. Oh, there we go. Lost the leaf part. The stem's not ready to come off yet. <laughs> This is how the other leaves are looking. Not the worst, but not the best, that's for sure. Um, Mr. Oh gosh, let's see. Mr. Uh, El Choco Red. Let's see, will these come off? I feel like he needs some water too, but we got a new leaf, little baby leaf, but at least there's something new happening. So I'm gonna do some watering after this because I think pretty much everybody needs some water um let's see who else this leaf that was dying on the ring of fire is still here it's not like pull like it's not falling off yet i do see there's a little bit more cold damage on these ring of fire leaves so the my manjula really struggled. I took him away from the window because I think the window was just not the place for him. And I pulled off a lot of yellow leaves, but it looks like we're still getting a little bit damaged. Oh, it's so sad. I loved, I loved how this manjula looks, so it's a little bit sad to see it be so destroyed, but it will come back. Um, this Skindapsis is definitely not doing so hot. You know, one that is crazy has been doing really well this whole time is my Florida ghost. So I don't know what that's about. The bronze is doing okay. It had a little bit of damage. So we're just hoping nothing worse happens for that guy. 
And then I think lastly, the main thing was this Plowmania who has a little bit of damage on the edges of the leaf. It's still going pretty strong. The new leaf is a little bit yellowy, but it's not terrible. So I think overall, we're doing pretty good now. Let's see, anybody over here? Um, this piece of lily is still kind of the same, just a little bit of sad leaves, but nothing too terrible overall. Oh, I'm getting a new Plowmanii leaf. That's exciting. How fun. So the last two plants that had any damage were my Mayoi, which it's like a little sad still, but overall doing really good. I think it likes being over here with the grow light. And then we have a new leaf coming out soon. So that's exciting. And then the other one that definitely is doing terrible that I'm probably just going to chop up is my squammy, my big squammy. I think it got root rot. So that's really sad. So like, oh, <laughs> the leaf part just fell off. Yeah, it's it's struggling i think i'm gonna chop it back and then hopefully uh it'll grow back better might have to like propagate it in water but we'll see but yeah these leaves are not looking so hot so overall though um i feel like for the most part considering what these plants went through it's not the worst thing ever but we definitely learned a lot for next winter if we're still in this house and yeah. Here's what we're left with. It's definitely not as full, but it will come back. It will be okay. Oh, I, okay. I left a couple, but it's gonna be okay. <laughs>